Okay, today we're going to talk about receptacles. Here I have a single receptacle. Here I have a duplex receptacle. And here I have a GFI receptacle. Now the single receptacle is a 20 amp. You can tell by the T on the neutral. The duplex is a 15 amp. You can tell because it doesn't have a T. It's got our cute little face we always like. And this is a 15 amp receptacle. Now this, this single receptacle is used someplace where we have to have a dedicated receptacle. Like say we have a uh, an air compressor or refrigerator or some place I don't want to plug anything else in but that device. I have a 20 amp face. It has to be a 20 amp circuit if it's a 20 amp face. If it's a 15 amp circuit, I can get away with just a 15 amp single receptacle. But the, that's the only time that I have to have a receptacle that matches the circuit. Is that if I have a single dedicated circuit. If I have a 20 amp circuit in say my kitchen or my bathroom. I can use a, a duplex in the 15 amp configuration. Because I'm going to plug more than one item in there. We know that. So the code allows us to derate that face because I've got more than one receptacle. All right. Now this receptacle has hard terminations, just like our single receptacle. It's got hard terminations. The GFI receptacle has little platens in there, so you don't have to make hooks like you do with these. You can just stick the wire straight in, tighten them down. It gives you a good solid connection. Unlike the stab connections that you'll get on the back of here, they're all spring loaded, which means if you heat them up with a excessive load, like say a baseboard heater or a um, air conditioner that spring in there loses tension and you'll possibly lose connection in the back of your device. So you can see the number of screws that I have. I've only got two screws on here. Two power screws, one ground screw. So that means I've got one wire that comes in, hits a device, doesn't go anywhere else. On the duplex receptacle I have four screws for power, one for for grounds. So I can bring power in here, I can bring power in here, I can take power out of here and power out of here if I want because they're all interconnected with a little tab from top to bottom. Each screw is only rated for one wire. If I have more than, than two wires here, say I have three, I'd have to wire nut them, take a tail off, come to here or put two here and, and stick one in the back which we don't like doing. But I've only got one ground screw. Alright, so if I've got two neutrals and two hots, I, where do I put my other ground? Well, again, you have to connect those grounds with either a wire nut or a crimp. Make a single connection to your device. That way our ground is never taken apart. Even if I take my outlet out, my ground is never taken apart. We always consider that ground to be our safety belt, so we never want to take it apart. On our GFI here, or GFCI, that would be ground fault interrupter or ground fault circuit interrupter. Either one is is an appropriate term for this. Um, I have a test and reset button here so I can check it, make sure it works every week. I've got a little indicator light that shows that I have power. And this is an audible GFI. So I can put this on, say, a sump pump or a condensate pump, and when it trips, it'll start buzzing and I'll hear that upstairs so it tells me I've got a problem. Now like the regular outlet this one has two hot terminals, two neutral terminals, our neutrals are always silver our hots are always brass and it's got a little tab here that we take this off if we're going to use all the terminals if we don't use the bottom terminals we leave that on and hopefully you can see it here it says line on the top load on the bottom so the wires coming from the panel to the device go on your line side. The wires coming off the load side can actually go to another device. It'll give this device the exact same protection that we have in this device, but I only have to buy one GFI. So I could put multiple regular outlets downstream and protect them with one device. So it's a cost savings, and that way I'm not going everywhere trying to find out where this is tripped. I only have one location to go to. So that's one of the nice things about GFI devices. Now you'll notice that they're a little bit thicker 
they take a little bit more room up in the box but it's it's a a product that has evolved over time we don't have as many false trips as we used to and it's a good product it saves lives it trips at five milliamps or less so you may still feel a shock but it's going to trip before you get electrocuted so that's what we have today on the outlets in our home we hope we've covered all your bases but before we go we want to talk about the new tamper resistant features of these outlets these are all TR receptacles so if a child comes up with a bobby pin or a uh, uh, paper clip and they try to stick it in just one side they can push as hard as they want see how hard I'm pushing here it won't go in but if I come in with my plug it'll go right in so that's the safety feature with these one outlet won't go in but my device will so it's tamper resistance we found that the children have figured out how to pull out those little caps well you can't defeat the outlet when it's got the tamper resistant built into it I hope we've showed you everything you need you'll be quizzed on this I'm sure in class and this will be very useful at home thanks and have a great day